Welcome to the Bahamas. We're here as part of the Kaplan Seaview Survey. My name's Jamie, and I just want to introduce you to one of the activities from the Coral Oceans Education Programme. It's called Coral Reef Zones, and it's to help you understand how different types of coral grow on different types of the reef. Now, in order to do this activity, first of all, we need to make our model coral reef. I'm going to do that with a few items. The first item, is a plastic box, clear plastic box, and then a series of heavy items. I've got a filled water bottle here or a conch shell or any other items you might have lying around at school or at home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to place these in the reef box so you can start to see how we form a model reef. I'm just going to put the conch in first and then these two water bottles. Now the shape that we're looking for a slight dip coming from the land, a slight dip rising up to the reef crest and then a slope down to the open ocean. So we have some distinct habitat zones here, some coral zones. The reef flat or the lagoon, the slight bump of the reef crest, the full reef coming down the reef slope. And that's the kind of shape you're trying to get. So I'm just going to move that to one side. And now I'm going to show you how you can roll out some clay to make a nice smooth coral seascape. So we've got a lump of clay here and I'm just going to use an old bottle and I'm going to ro roll it out. Don't need anything too specialist here. And now we're just going to take this and lay it over our reef. Now for added authenticity, what I thought I might do is I might just grab some sand and sprinkle it on top and then we're going to leave it to dry in the sun to give it that nice coastal coral feel. So we've just waited for half an hour, an hour to let the clay dry in the sun and actually we just added some more sand as well to make this a more realistic reef look and give us a lovely cross section to work with. What we're going to do now is look at five, six different coral types and work out where they're going to be in our coral reef habitat. And remembering those zones that we're talking about, the reef flat, the lagoon, the reef crest, the fore reef and then the reef slope down to the open sea. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use some Play-Doh, make the whole models of those different types of coral and place them on the reef and show how they've adapted to the different niches that each zone represents. And so we're just going to start by making some staghorn coral, a typical branching coral. Now this coral, it looks a bit like a tree or a antlers. Make the sort of little branches here. So if you're a really fragile branching coral, like the staghorn, you're going to want to come down a little bit away from the wave action, a bit deeper. Let's see if we can just add a few more branches to it down here. So another type of coral we've got is a boulder coral. And I'm just going to make this into a boulder shape and stick it on the reef. And here in the Caribbean, you'll get shapes like this, but they're actually called star corals and sometimes in a bit more of a, a tower shape. But we're just gonna have our coral boulder here. Sometimes it gets exposed by the waves, but it's quite robust, so it can take a bit more of that wave action. The next type of coral I wanna show you, I'm gonna start moving across the, the, the reef crest, and I'm just gonna show you what an encrusting coral. Now encrusting coral, like its name suggests, is a type of coral that just grows like a thin crust on the reef. So it's really well suited to these areas where we've got a lot of wave action. So there we go, we've got a nice bit of encrusting coral going across the reef crust there. Further back into the lagoon, the main type of coral we have is in fact what's called a branching plate coral. 
So this is a bit like our branching coral that we had before down here, but all these little branches, in fact, form something that looks like a plate. So instead of being a flat tabletop, it's in fact a whole load of different little branches on top. And that's quite a low coral in the lagoon. And the next coral I'm gonna show you is a plate coral. And these plate corals are designed in a way to catch as much sunlight as possible. Now corals need sunlight. They've got a little algae inside their tissue that makes energy from the sun. I don't know whether we can see that jutting out so that surface area can get as much sunlight as possible that it needs to grow and get its energy. So what I'm gonna do now, fill our reef box with some water and then we can have our perfect coral reef. So what this shows you is how different coral types have adapted to the zones that you can find on coral reefs all over the world.